Welcome to Ardent's Bass Battles with Denny and Chad Brower. Hi everyone, welcome to a new year of Ardent Bass Battles. This is going to get exciting. Uh, last year I ended up on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, sure, we all know that you ended up on top last year. This year it's probably going to be a little bit, uh, well, I'm not even going to make that prediction because I know how hot you've been lately. Well. We're starting out at a lake we actually fished out last year, Lake Malax, and we're going to do something a little bit different. He did all this whining last year. Oh my God. Hey, it was whining about, hey, I spent too much time fishing for smallmouth when I should have been fishing largemouth. Well, we're going to do a show today on smallmouth, and then we're also going to follow up and do a show tomorrow on largemouth. All you got today is smallmouth. Can't wait. All we got tomorrow is largemouth. Can't wait. Anything I can live with that. Mouth. It's a big lake, two different fisheries, smallmouth out in the big water, largemouth in the small bays and grassy areas. Try to stay out. Try Welcome to stay out. to the new season of Bass Battles. Welcome to Ardent's Bass Battles with Denny and Chad Brower. Oh, that's a pro, my, my goodness. You talk about jump. Fish number one, and it's a good one. I'm one of the luckiest people in the world. Travel around the country and fish for a living. Get to hang out with my son. Show you what I look for in a jig. There's a good chance I'm probably gonna win. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You know what I say to you, Dad, today? Give up now. I got every intention of really pouring it to him tomorrow. I've got a pretty good sack, and I've got a good chance of winning this thing. Ardent's Bass Battles with Denny and Chad Brower is brought to you by Ardent Reels, Pure performance, all American. Strike King, number one in fishing lures. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Seaguar, always the best in fishing lines. Evan Rood, spend more time on the water. Wired to Fish, bass fishing anglers number one resource. And by Mustad, haul in a record, haul off the cash at mustadhookamillion.com. Bill Lax Lake is Minnesota's second largest and is one of the most popular fishing destinations. Today is Denny and Chad's opening launch for the bass battle season and it doesn't take long for the smack talk to begin. You know, if I live through this show, there's a good chance I'm probably going to win. <laughs> well, it's a 50-50 chance either way the way I see it. At least I've got baits tied on. Here we are waiting to start this little derby and you're still hey, trying to figure out how to, on the what that you're is. Free to go. We got to cut our days a little shorter. I got to be able to get in for my early bird special. Lake Malax is a trophy smallmouth fishery. You cannot keep smallmouth out of this lake except for one a day, and it has to be like 21 inches. Most of them obviously are turned back to grow, grow very large. So five, six pounders, from what I hear, are not unusual up here. You know, so I can get my senior discount. <laughs> We're gonna still go all day. I told him he could have his early bird discount with a PB&J in the boat. You know, while it's cloudy here and early this morning, I'm going to go with some moving baits, try to find some rocky shoals where those smallmouth maybe have moved up. And as that sun gets up, I'll probably go nothing but maybe throwing a tube bait, maybe like a little caffeine shad, something that gives them a little slower presentation. This is a little bit something out of both of our comfort zones, so it'll be interesting. We've got the edge of a reef right here, and we're just going to try to figure out what depth they're in to start with. <laughs> whether they're up on top or whether they're on the sides. Uh, only way you find that out is just start fishing and pay attention to the depth when you do get a bite. From a biting standpoint, they usually bite a little better if you got a little ripple on the water, a little wave action. I got him. Not a very big one. Oh, and he threw it. All right, 2012, come on. Let's just start off better than like a five pound smallmouth right off the bat. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> he hasn't come up yet though. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Wild shiner. Jerk bait and a perch color. Fish number one, and it's a good one. <laughs> Pop, you're going down, buddy. You're going down. Oh, 
got you that time. He hit it, and with a small mouth hit, oh, and he come off, and it was a great big one. Oh my goodness, what's going on? One cast. Oh, I take it back, a cast and a half, because I sabotaged my first one, so I wouldn't catch one. I made about three jerks, bingo. <laughs> big old small mouth. Oh, that's a bad break there. Hook sharp. Oh, I hate that. That fish looked like he's four, four and a half pounders. Three pounds, 12 ounces, fish number one, cast 1.5. I got a feeling I'm leading this bad Chad boy. Chad is on the board with a good fish, and that puts him in the lead. We'll see if Denny can finally hook up when Ardent's Bass Battles returns. Welcome back to Ardent's Bass Battles. There is one. I threw it out there and he never let it hit the bottom. Ah, now if we can get one in the boat. We lost them first two. Oh, that's a pro, oh my God. You talk about jump, my goodness. That's what's so much fun about these fish. Full drag, fishing eight pound test, cigar fluorocarbon, the new Tatsu. And he is giving it everything he's got. Whoa, wow. What a chunk. What a way to start the new season of bass battles. Not quite 312. I got to bring him down to 38. We weigh in quarter pound increments. Nice start. There you go, buddy. We are on the board. Oh, Pops is moving. He's probably already got five. <laughs> He's going to stop by and taunt me. That is number two, three pounds even. Last time that I saw dad go out from the ramp with spinning rods laying on his deck. I promise you, a minimum of 15 years since I've seen that. I'm sure Chad's expecting me to be fishing this thing, something like this. Little does he know, I got the program figured out. The reel goes underneath the rod, I think. He can use them. He doesn't like to admit it, and he doesn't like to brag about it, but he can catch them doing that if he wants to. Pretty sure. I think I saw Aaron Marge or somebody using one of these. Or was it like this? I don't remember. We'll figure it out as we go. No, it was like this. There we go. There we go. That fish hit it all the way I popped down. it up off the bottom, and he grilled it. That's a good one right there. Look at how fat that I thing is. <laughs> yeah, I bet you. Big old green pumpkin nice. tube down in there. Fish is 412. <laughs> it's probably a four pound fish, but he's got about a pound right there. Three pounds, four ounces. That right there is one of the more beautiful fish I have ever caught. Look at him down there in that clear water. <laughs> if I'm catching smallies like this all day long, I don't mind doing anything. This is two fish now that I've caught on a tube, just casting it out and dragging it on the bottom. And neither one of them have made my line jump or anything. It's just been a real soft bite. There's four pounds, three pounds, four ounces. Whoa! Man, whoa, that's a good one. Wow. <laughs> You've got to do this, folks. You've got to do this. I'm not too excited. If that doesn't get you excited, when one hits that close to the boat, my goodness. Three pounds. Man, what a chunk. Ain't no fish. I used fish fitting equipment a bunch when I first started my career. One of my major goals was to win Angler of the Year. And in order to win Angler of the Year, you really can't have any bad days. You've got to be consistent. And being consistent a lot of times means just getting a limit of smaller fish. And we kept track of the fish I caught, like 40% of the fish that year. There's one. We're on 
spinning equipment. So I had to use it in order to be consistent. And it sure is nice to get a bite where you're talking about good things like angle of the year and that. Here's number five, hopefully. The key feature for me of the S2500 Ardent Spinning Reel is the total titanium protection. And what that basically entails is everywhere the line comes in contact with is coated with titanium. The Ardent S2500 and S2000 spinning reels feature total titanium protection on the bail, spool lip, and line guide to prevent damage that can cause nicks and frays. They're made of corrosion resistant aluminum and built for smoothness and durability. And that's gonna keep you from getting any nicks or abrasions. And when you're using light line, that's a big key to your success, is line maintenance. Fish number five. Captain Arden here. I got two that need to go, but at least I got five. Not quite two and a half, we'll go with two four on him. Obviously, I wasn't paying any attention, and I catch one. So, if you like to come out here and talk and get carried away and not pay any attention, you can probably catch a few too. Ardent's Bass Battles with Denny and Chad Brower. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Ardent's Bass Battles with Denny and Chad Brown. I don't care what people say about other bass. There's no fish that fight like smallmouth. Oh, Captain America's hooked up. He's going to help me a little bit. Two pounds, four ounces. That's going to help out. This is going to help Chad's cause just a little bit. Three pounds even. I think he'll help me. Not much, not enough some. With the sun coming out and the water as clear as it is, I may be switching to the old spinning reel here shortly. That's a good two pounds. There we go. Easy dog. Oh, maybe a better one than I thought. But he better be watching this. Chad Brower has got a fish on a spinning rod. Will you look at that? That's got to be close to four pounds. I help my cause a little bit. Got my drag loose. I got my eight pound tatsu. He's not going anywhere. Four, four. And they said it couldn't be done. A brower with a spinning rod. Three, eight. It's halftime and time for Denny and Chad to check in. Well, 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 what have we here? We got a superhero out on the water. Superhero. I'm not saying your boat's bright, but we're on the other end where another finger comes off this shoal, and we saw you guys pull on, and I go, there's no doubt, well, that's Captain America. That when I catch one, like the fireworks go off and stuff, I've got a big display that goes on whenever I catch one. Is this been fun? Awesome. Well, I'm we are catching them on a spinning rod. So well, I'm that's proud of you. I'm proud of you. So we thought rather than do a halftime call, we just idle over here and see what you got before we take off. I got five that go 18.4. He's got five that weigh 18.4, and we're talking smallmouth. Slowly chopping my way up. Oh my awesome. goodness! I've been calling since like after about an hour and a half of fishing. Oh, dude. I got news for you. We got five that weigh 18.8. Ah, uh, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I was thinking that you had five that weighed like 22. Hey, so 18.8, huh? 18.8 is what we got. Man, talk about fun. Everybody needs to come do this deal. I'm grabbing a sandwich and I'm going to have five hours this afternoon to catch up. It's going to be awesome. Well, all I can say is this could be your best opportunity all year to win smallmouth fishing because once I bring the heat on the largemouth tomorrow you could be two down if you don't crank it up here. I got no worries. Alright. Just go. Well, we'll see you later bud. Good luck. Alright. Well, Denny is up on Chad by just four ounces at halftime and by the look of things these two will be battling out to the end when Ardent's Bass Battles with Denny and Chad Brower returns. You're watching Ardent's Bass Battles with Denny and Chad Brower. Here we've just kind of got a little shoreline bend here, and I'm thinking maybe it'll make just a little bit of a point. Catch a couple out here. Yeah, maybe just a couple six pounders. Nothing, nothing too bad. It finally got to the point this afternoon where I did shed the sweatshirt. 
I know Pops gives me a lot of trouble about that. Captain America better be on his stuff because the old geezer's about to stroke him another giant off this point. There we go. There we go. First, that fish is going to help. Four pounds even, baby. That's an upgrade. Three and a half pounds. I thought he was a little bigger. He almost went 312. I felt like we should each have some kind of theme music when we catch a fish. And I can't decide for dad whether I should do old turkey buzzard or old turkey buzzard. He gets a little pouty when he gets behind. Flying, he's flying high. I kind of like that. Or I thought my second choice might be Old Man River. He didn't talk much. You know, every time he catches that, just kind of play that in the background. Have a button or a bullhorn that sounds it off. It'd be awesome. You know, I really was hoping he'd win this one because I got every intention of really pouring it to him tomorrow. I wouldn't care if he had 30 pounds. He wouldn't be going in early because he'd be going, I'm going to beat him by another 10. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what? 13 and 0 sounds good right now. He's got no mercy. <laughs> Even worse for me. <laughs> this little game's not over. It was pretty neck and neck. Three pounds, eight ounces. <laughs> See the contour of the bank, how it makes a subtle point here. Deeper water comes in a little tighter to shore. Got a lot of grass down through here. And what I'm doing is staying on the outside of that grass. Whoa! What we got here, another little one? Oh no, that one might be the one. I can't tell when he jumped. Oh yeah, that is a toad. Will you look at that small mouth? Holy cow. Will you look at that toad? Five pounds, four ounces. What a fish. Might help me a little bit. 312. Man. 312's gonna be another four ounces. <laughs> that is a smallmouth deal right there. Look at it. That's a helper. They'll come back and get it. Oh! I lost him. Mm. That didn't get to the bottom. Any more action than this in the last half hour? I'm putting a rally hat on. Four. That's four pounds of eating right there. There we go. All right, that's the one. That's what I threw that bait for right there. Try to get a fish like that and upgrade. Another giant. Absolutely killed that pure poison. We're moving up the ladder. 10 minutes left. Won't quite go 5-4. We'll call him an even five pounds. Never over. I started to catch a few more fish here at the end of the day. But whether it's enough, I don't know. Well, I don't really don't care who won. All I know is was that fun or was that fun? I vote for a series of shows, all smallmouths right here in the next seven or eight days. This was fun. Oh, and boy. what a beautiful day. I did have a little rally at the end of the day. Well, you know, it got calm and bright yeah. and that can make the bite a little tougher. But It did. So you, anyway, you had a rally, huh? I ended up with 20 pounds, four ounces. Boy, you did Please have a rally. Tell me that. I got, I got a small glimmer of hope that I might have pulled it out. Well, how small is my glimmer? Pretty small, bud. Dang. <laughs> I, I, I mean, 20 pounds what? 20 pounds, four ounces. I mean, would you ever dream that you'd get beat with 20 pounds, four ounces? Well, on a lake like this, I know it's possible, but... Would you like to add a up? Do I need to? <laughs> I don't need to. Jeez Louise. <laughs> well, yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> See you at the round. Uh, just in case you're interested, I think it comes out to 23 pounds even. Ridiculous. Oh, you got to hear the whole story. I'll tell you at the ramp. Good. You got burned. Yes! That right there is unfortunate. What can I say? Sometimes you catch them good and it's not quite enough. 
One of the baits I fish a lot that you don't hear a tremendous amount about is Strike King's Pure Poison. And it's a great, great bait. I make up some special colors in it myself, like this green pumpkin. This particular colored Pure Poison enabled me to win the bass battle that we had for smallmouth up on Lake Mille Lacs. Great, great, good color combination. Mix it up yourself, find some colors that work for you. But anything like this that looks like a crawdad is a dynamite smallmouth. Think you had it won? I thought I had a chance. I didn't. I wasn't super confident, but I knew once I got to 20 pounds, I at least stood a chance. I couldn't believe it. We ran back to this reef I started on, and there was a little finger that come off, and I pulled up on that finger. I had not fished it ever, and pulled up on it. In like the second cast, I catch a two pounder. Throw a couple more casts out there, catch a five four. Run around, run back to a place where I caught them this morning, catch three or four three pounders that don't help. And I look and I got 10 minutes left, pick that pure poison up, catch a five, and then I catch a four. I catch two big ones in the, in the last 10 minutes. So what a day, bud. I went down in a blaze of glory, but I, you had fun, didn't you? 20 pounds, I'll take it every day. Now, let's see what happens on the largemouth tomorrow. I'm planning on 20 No smallmouth count. I'm planning on 20 again. He better bring it. I'm going to re-rig. He better bring it. I'll get him tomorrow. Ardent's Bass Battles with Denny and Chad Brower has been brought to you by Ardent Real Care. Take care of the reels that take care of you. Strike King, number one in fishing lures. Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. Seaguar, always the best in fishing lines. Evan Rude, spend more time on the water. Wired to Fish, Bass Fishing Angler's number one resource. And by Mustad, haul in a record. Haul off the cash at mustadhookamillion.com. Old turn, now I've got it in my head. Old turkey buzzard. <laughs>